Logo. maxi dresses so if you were ever known already you know that I am loving maxi dresses at this current moment and I just made this two, I think two days ago and I'm going to show you guys how I shave it super easy like I always say it's super fast so if you want to see how I shave this dress definitely keep watching so for this tutorial we're going to be needing two yards of fabric depending on how flowy or how full you want your maxi dress to be i don't want mine to be too i want the start to be straight so i'm using two yards you're going to need either a t-shirt to trace out or already already made pattern so this is basically a t-shirt we traced out a while ago and i'm going to be using this pattern to create the top part of the dress and these are the pens i'm going to use for that i'm going to need some pins and matching thread my fabric has different colors so as you can see it has yellow it has red and it has purple as well so i don't know what color of thread i'm going to use yet maybe i'm just going to go with black color of thread so those are all the things you need to make this tutorial now we're going to work on the neckline so because the neckline is really high you don't need a shoulder you just need half of your armhole so you're just going to put a point right on the tip of like right on this tip and then you're going to mark where's my tape you're going to mark four inches down mark it and then you just want to connect those lines and you can make it a straight line but you can also make it a curve which i want to do so i'm just going to connect these lines like so and then you can go ahead and cut that so i just realized that i made a mistake and i quickly want to correct that so you don't necessarily need this um whole piece here so you can just put the mark from here to the bottom of your initial armhole and then you're just gonna repeat what we just did so just connect that dot and the way there and it should start from here this is what you should have without no harm hole. You don't need that at all to um, cut your piece. So now you can go ahead and cut your piece. And you can then at this point add the 15 inches that I told you guys. And also make it longer to the length of the dress. Of how long you want your dress to be. So that was the mistake I wanted to quickly correct. Okay. This is the front piece. And this is the back piece and then these are the sleeve pieces because we're going to be adding some sleeve to it as well and i already went ahead and cut these pieces so these pieces are 32 inches 32 inches by 10 inches so it's 32 inches wide and it's 10 inches long and you're going to cut out two pieces and we're going to gather that piece later to create the sleeve and i also went ahead and created the the straps that we're going to be using to tie the dress so it stands properly so it's basically what we've done before I just made like a buyer's tape if you can see this I ironed both ends inwards and then I folded again and I gave it a proper ironing and that's how I created this strap pieces I have decided that I also want to add a slit to this dress because my last master dress was just with pockets I really just want this dress to pop out so I'm going to be adding slits to it and what I do 
it's on one side you have to choose the side you want your slits to be mine is going to be on the left side if I calculate it properly and I'm going to measure uh, the bottom part so you can see I'm going to measure here I'm going to mark 13 inches so that's the position you're going to cut your slit so right now you just want to cut a straight line going all the way up to the length you want your fabric I normally like cut it all the way to the top and then I'm going to sew it to the length of the slit that I want if that makes sense I already went ahead and pin it so you can sew it from there all the way to here and then you can leave this part open for your slit. Guys, so this is what you should have after I've just sewn that with the slit opening so now we can move on to the next step but the next step is we're going to sew the front and back piece together so basically you're going to sew right sides together right side smashing and then you're just going to go ahead and sew them together on both sides The front and back piece has been sewn together and this is it on the back so now we're going to sew the string so you know we already prepared it what you want to do now is just going to sew it all the way down for both strings so the next step is we want to finish the neckline and we're going to be using like a bias tape technique for that so basically we're going to right side facing each other you're going to start from the side seam and if you're wondering this piece is uh is one and a half inch wide and the length you just have to see how long the entire um neckline is so you're just going to go ahead and pin that to uh neckline like so you can cut this so here so you have that V piece as well and you can take this other part just overlay it there and you just that it shows that almost forgot you can already put the straps in right here when you're like pinning those two pieces when you're pinning the facing so you can sew that all together at once you've done that you want to turn it inside out so this is like this now and then you can go ahead and iron this really nice and flat as you can see this is what the neckline should look like at this point and this is it at the back so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and top stitch it so it doesn't um, flip already went ahead and top to stitch the entire piece as you can see that all top stitched so now we're going to work on the 
sleeves so now we're going to work on the sleeves i already went ahead and prepared them for hemming so i did a road hem for the bottom part of the sleeves so right now i'm just going to go ahead and sew it uh, all the way down and when i'm done i'm going to put right sides together and then i'm going to sew it on the sides as well at the, the same time i'm hemming the the bottom part so, so this is what you should have and i've also left like an opening here so i can insert the elastic later so right now i'm just going to repeat the same step for the other sleeve and i'm going to go ahead and create the tunnel and then i will show you guys how i insert the elastic so now we're going to insert the elastic and i'm using a safety pin this right now I'm gonna take this out and then I'm going to stitch this piece together the two elastic pieces together and then you're just gonna sew this close put it back inside a tunnel and then you're going to close that opening you are left for to insert the elastic so you're gonna repeat this this same step for the other sleeve as well so now the sleeves are done I already finished uh, everything so now we're just going to attach it to the dress you're just gonna like stitch it really I'm actually gonna hand stitch it so you're gonna take the side seam of the sleeve which is here and I'm going to match that to the side seam of the dress and I'm just going to pin those two together and I'm going to sew it here and you repeat the same step for the other sleeve so you're going to go ahead and sew these two and your sleeve is attached to your dress so after that, the only things you want to do now is you want to go ahead and hem your dress. So you want to go ahead and hem the slit and also hem the bottom of the dress. So I'm going to go through all those steps and I'll come back to show you guys. Logo. I love the way the tutorial turned out, so I hope you guys will love it and leave your comment below and tell me what you guys think about the print. The print is, was so amazing. Make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!